Welcome to my kitchen in its non-remodeled state. We're getting there, don't worry. Today we are going to make a frittata. Um, the first thing you gotta do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. For now, we're gonna concentrate on the stove. So, we've got the heat set at a medium, medium high heat. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Um, I use a cast iron pan because you're gonna wanna take this directly from your stove top into the oven and you need a pan that can handle that. So we're gonna start out with our spinach because we wanna prepare that, we wanna wilt that down. About six ounces is what it calls for. I have a giant thing of spinach because I use it regularly. Put the garlic in. Okay, garlic goes in, blam. Sizzle, sizzle, that's what you wanna hear. As soon as you hear that, you know you've got your heat at a good temperature. Garlic is gonna go in. I choose to use a wooden spoon with this. Um, just get it all in there. I want to get it all soaked in olive oil and I'm going to add even a little more. Um, what this recipe calls for and what I end up doing are usually totally different things. I like to add a lot of ingredients to my frittata because I'm the kind of person that likes to taste a little bit of everything. So I've got the garlic in there. I'm going to throw in six ounces. What do you think? Six ounces? Yeah. Close enough. I'm gonna throw that in there. And we're just gonna wilt it down. And you'll watch this just kind of like start to shrivel up. Just keep pushing it around. Let them get good and happy in there. This smells so good, like the garlic. It smells so good. That's another thing I forgot to tell you. It, this recipe calls for one clove of garlic. No, we're gonna use a lot more than that. I think I used five or six cloves of garlic. I'm a garlic fanatic. And you just wanna get it in there and stir that up with that garlic. Get it nice and wilted down. The leaves will start to turn a really dark green. They'll get very soft, kind of slimy looking. That's when we're gonna jump into the next step of this. We're gonna add it to our mixture a little bit later and you're gonna want it to be kind of pliable. I'll show you why a little bit later. So, all right, we've got that cooked down pretty well and we're gonna take um, some paper towel, we're gonna lay it down here, grab a little bit more to the top. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we wanna get all the liquid out of this, um, out of this spinach. We wanna kind of get it dried up. So I just like to take mine get all the garlic as much of it as I can. Just kind of go in and scoop, scoop. That's why I use this flat spatula. Well, it's not a spatula, it's a wooden spoon or wooden spatula, as opposed to Kevin's Southern spatula, which is a fork. If you ever heard anybody hurt, use the term Southern spatula, you're talking about a fork. Just so you know. All right, garlic, do your thing. All right, so I've got all that out. What I'm going to do now is just kind of cover it in paper towel and I'm going to get all the oils out of that. So it's going to sit there and absorb in that paper towel just like that. While he's sitting there, we're going to add some more olive oil to the party. Let's party! And the onions. Going for a ride. Um, you can use a yellow onion for this. Uh, I just chose to use this red one because I already had it. Um, I used part of it yesterday, so I was like, well, I'll just use that up. I've ke red onion is Kevin's favorite. Stir, stir it up, stir it up. Okay, now what we're doing here is we are creating a bed of flavor for our frittata. The onions are gonna go in. I'm gonna let them cook down for a minute. Okay, while the onions are kind of cooking down, Let's get started on our eggs. I had 10 eggs. The recipe only calls for eight. But like I said, I like to add a few ingredients because I like to taste everything. Normally it calls for spinach, feta, and tomato. I'm adding a little bit of yellow pepper and a little bit of mushroom right here. So with that, we're gonna need extra liquid because um, we wanna make sure that we cover the whole thing. I'm whisking those up. I'm gonna throw in a half cup of Parmesan. In you go. 
I'm so great at measuring. It calls for three tablespoons. I'm gonna do that much milk. With this mixture, you wanna go ahead and add in your salt and pepper, which I'm going to do now. But you're not gonna get a chance to get it all in there later. So do it now before you lose your opportunity. I like a lot of pepper. Okay, now that the onions have cooked down just a few minutes, I give them about, you know, four or five minutes. I'm gonna throw the rest of these vegetables in there. You gotta sweat them out because there's a lot of liquid in tomatoes and peppers. So in they go, into the party. I'm using an entire pint of tomatoes. These are grape tomatoes and they're gonna go right in there. And I'm just gonna let them cook down a little with the onions. They're gonna have a little happy party together. Get together, show us the stories. That's so fun. <laughs> hey guys, remember that time we all got a pot made for Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Cucumbers in my garden just finally came through this week. I'm so excited. I'm growing things. And before long, I won't even have to buy great tomatoes. I'll just have an entire table full of them. It's gonna be glorious. What's awesome about these onions getting cooked in here so much is that they're all this stuff is gonna remain at the bottom of the pan, so when you fill it up with egg mixture, the, the onions will continue to caramelize, and that's what makes it so freaking good. All right, the oven is at 400 degrees. I was trying to be sneaky and not make any noise, but now you acknowledge me. Well, you know, you do live here. Yeah, I was getting this. You wanna this. come look at my frittata? I was getting this for the set decor for downstairs. Come look at this frittata. You can smell it all the way downstairs. It smells awesome. Okay. Pretty nice. Right. Frittata, frittata, frittata. Say it three times, it'll come true. Frittata, frittata, frittata. Oh my God, it's true. It's happening right before our eyes. Get our stickers over here. Take a look. Shall we see? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm just getting everything like flattened out in the pan, and because they're gonna live here like this. This is where they will remain for the rest of their journey. Da, da. Sweat it out. Also, we have ourselves here some feta cheese. This is just traditional crumbled feta. Uh, recipe calls for six or four ounces. This is a six ounce thing, but I've used some of it. And I'm gonna go crazy. I'm gonna use it all. Yes, let's do it. This is ready for the eggs. Now, the tomatoes are kind of like getting a little um, like pruney, like your fingertips. So that's how I know, I know that they've cooked down enough. So we're gonna take our egg mixture. We're not going to touch anything in there. I'm just gonna take this egg mixture and I'm gonna pour it all along the top of this. And I wanna get it everywhere and I wanna cover the whole thing just like that. And you don't wanna stir it. You wanna leave it exactly like it is. And we're going to cover this and let it continue to cook. While this mixture is just still a little bit wet, we're gonna place our spinach. So you wanna make sure that it's still wet on top. We are going to place our spinach so that you can get a bite in every little piece, okay? So I'm just gonna decorate, decorating with spinach. Oh man, that looks good. That is so freaking good. Got some garlic, I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle that around. Cover, continue to cook. Okay, as this is cooking down, one of the things you're gonna to wanna to check regularly is you wanna take your little wooden spatula and start to pull the egg mixture from the sides. And uh, you wanna give the other wetter mixture, um, you know, a, a place to come in behind and firm up. Cause we wanna get this fairly firm before we set it in the oven. Ooh yeah, starting to get spongy on the outside. It's what you want. I like it. Oh yeah, we're good and spongy on this side. It's looking good, you guys. Smelling better. This is the part that, that just is the hardest for me because you're so hungry now. You're so hungry. And you just want to eat this thing. And you can smell all the smells. And it's so glorious. And just 
not there yet. Oh, how frustrating. Spongy, spongy, spongy. You are so spongy. Oh, yes. You guys, this is really starting to happen now. We are getting there. I'm gonna let it go a few more minutes and then I'm going to add our last ingredients because everything is better. So cheesy. All right. This looks like a good place to start. I just let it cook a couple of more minutes. So I'm gonna take my feta, and like I said, the recipe calls for four ounces. This is like six ounces, uh, but I've used some, so I'm gonna use it all. And I'm just gonna go around and sprinkle it over the top of this. Cheese, cheese is life, cheese is happiness. Cheese is what brings us together. Thank you, cheese. Right at the end of our oven time, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this baby on broil for that last minute. And it's gonna like make that feta cheese nice and toasty on top, give you that little bit of dark, crunchy on top. Oh man, freaking amazing. Yeah, it's good. All right, let's see how we're doing. Oh man, that looks really good. So now we are completely spongy on the outside. You can see the whole thing moves when you pull around like this. And um, gosh, that is perfect. So what I am going to do now is I am going to use the pot holders that my mother made for me because they have music notes. That's how you know they're mine. Okay, and we are going in the oven, straight in the oven with that. Boom! And we are going to set our timer for, you can set it for about 12 to 15 minutes. I'm going to start at 12 just to see where we're at, okay? That and I'm hungry, and I don't trust myself, so I always set the timer. Be back. What's that sound? It's the one minute warning. So I just put it on for 12 minutes. I'm gonna take a look here in just a minute. See if it's dry on top. You don't want any like wet uh, egg left on the top. Um, if it's dry, I'm gonna switch it over to broil and we're gonna give it another minute or two. It's like New Year's Eve in the kitchen. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo, party time. Looks like. Um, Everything's pretty dry on top. So I am going to go ahead, switch this over to broil on high, hit start, throw it in there. We're gonna get two minutes. Two minutes. We're down to the last 30 seconds. I kinda wanna pee, can I pee? I wanna pee. Broil, black, little brownish. The fun stuff. The fun stuff. That is exactly what it is. I didn't know how to explain it, but now it is. Now I do. The fun stuff. Let's take a look. Look at that. I'm gonna let this thing sit here and cool for about five minutes. And then I'm gonna slice it up and make Kevin eat it. Cause that's what I do. Be right back. Here we go, after it's been beautifully plated. <laughs> he said that because he's the one that plated it. Yeah. Mm. So you get the little like bit of- I always like how the iron skillet always to cooks the, like Chris, the bottom of the uh, feta that's in it when it makes it to the bottom of the- The feta never reaches the bottom Oh, it does? Then what I, what I just eat that was crunchy. Caramelized onions. That's mm. what I was just about to say. The caramelized onions are really great because those sit on the bottom of the pan and they absorb everything from the cast iron pan it's delicious so Pretty we good. added a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette uh glaze to the top and a little bit of uh parsley right uh i just what'd you put on there? i had just a little fresh basil because it was oh, laying basil. there next to it yeah well it works perfectly with this because you've got tomatoes spinach balsamic glaze and feta i mean basil fits right in there mm -hmm, me too. it's a frittata it's a italiano like a party. I mean, really, you can almost never have too much basil, like garlic. That's what I said. I put in like six cloves of garlic. It asked for one. Yeah, so it's about right. <laughs> All right. Well, try it at home. It doesn't take much to do.